Okay, Uncle Chris, this is the little bracket I made to go from the step plate here to the, to hold on to the fender. And I kind of have no idea what it's really supposed to look like. So I took a piece of angle iron and milled it out. And so it accepted the bead back here and, um, and this kind of screwed it in there just so I could get the fender all on and that's all equal all the way around. And, um, I mean, I know I have to cut these off, so I mean, I welded these brackets on, I gotta get rid of the slag and build the rest up with braze so it looks more uniform. Now, what I did was I jacked up the rear uh, spring hanger because that, uh, that strut down there, that ball is loose. And so that has this back corner hang, hang down. So I got that part figured out. But if you look at the frame, let me put this down. It's got sagus agus. And uh, it's got big time sagus agus from the back. So, if you come up here, this thing here is the pivot. So if you pick it up, it kind of pivots on that thing. And I can pick it up or jack up the front corner and it will, the whole frame becomes level. But once I let it go, it just sags back down to where it was. Then these struts here are adjustable. So I'm not quite sure. You can't take it out with the struts. And that kind of, it's gotta go up. And I think those struts were more front to back. Rather than up and down. So I'm not quite sure how to get that sag out of there and then uh, Mike Eagle is lending me fender brackets for that and um, so I can copy those and I know this one's in backwards so I gotta fix that but if you look at this it's got it's got a sag it's probably a couple inches maybe two inches and um, that's a scoop and um, otherwise making progress. The finishing up the gas tank. And it's about the story. Talk to you later. Thanks.